Welcome back everybody. We're just gonna jump right on in with this pedicure right here. Um, we are gonna basically do a full makeover on these toes. It's been a very, very long time since my client has gotten a pedicure as you can sell, as you can see. So we're gonna we're gonna be putting in some work today to make her toes look brand new. So I'm going to be 100% honest with you all, I love doing pedicures, they are my favorite, favorite service to do and I love when my clients come to me looking like this honestly because it's just like the before and after pictures are just so drastically different and it's just so satisfying to, to I don't know, just like clean up the toes and make them look pretty and then they're so happy at the end of the service so that makes me feel really nice and makes me feel like I really, you know, did something great. But honestly, like when clients come to me that look like this and they're like, oh my god, you know, my toes look crazy and blah blah blah, I'm just like, yes, bring it on <laughs> because they are going to look so good after we're done and they do and then they're happy, I'm happy and it's just, it's just all good times. Um, yeah. Even though, like, her feet do look, I mean, again, it's been a long time since she got her pedicure. Like, I really, d even from the beginning of the service, I didn't think her feet looked that bad. They're just really dry and, like, ashy, to be honest. And then, um, it's like, Cleaning up her nails and just doing the pedicure process was actually really easy and simple. I mean, she doesn't have any foot problems. She just, she literally just needed some maintenance, and that's what that's what you see me doing here. Even with the sanding band, um, just removing the the dead skin, the cuticle, you see a huge improvement in like the, the the look of her toes and feet already just by doing the just by using the sanding band. So. It looked a little crazy at first, but it really was not that much work. Thank you. 
So going in with my, I like to call it like my secret weapon. It's one of my favorite parts of a pedicure as well is to use this, um, the, the milky white like uh, cuticle remover. It's like the blue, the blue shield uh, brand. You can get it anywhere but this as you can see just from me putting some moisture on her feet like her like her toes are starting to look so good already right um and i love to use this i'll use this product after i'm done e-filing completely and um i'll just go in and just scrape off any extra dead skin get underneath her toenails as well because sometimes when people's skin um, is really dry it's hard to get underneath their toes so this product helps me um, be able to get underneath and, and clean underneath the toenails as well. Um, but after using this, that's when you start to really see um, just how, how good her, her feet look um, after all the cleanup and stuff. So. So we're gonna go in with this pedicure bit. Um, it's a really big like mandrel. It's basically like a sanding band. Um, well, it is a sanding band, um, but it's 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 big and, then, and it's made for feet. So this is how I, I do underneath um, the the feet for my pedicures. A lot of people um, were confused as to since I don't use water or anything like how I you know get underneath the feet and everything and make that nice and smooth and that's how I do it with these big pedicure mandrels and pedicure bits. So uh, after I use the, the mandrel for the feet, that's when I apply my polish. And then after you know the polish is all cured and everything, I go in with my, with my scrub. Um, I, I do it in this order because just the way that I was taught to do nails, it's always best to uh, apply the polish on dry feet or dry nails. So if I were to do the polish after this step, after the mask and scrub, it might. Um, there could be a chance of the, the polish not lasting as long because of the oils and stuff from like the, the scrub and mask. So I always do my polish first and then I will do my scrub and then I'll do my mask and then here I will do the hot towels, these moist hot towels that I leave in a towel warmer and then get all that stuff off. So you can see here, that's what she looked like before, her pedicure, a little crazy looking, not gonna lie, but hey, I always love a challenge. And then we've got, before we put on the polish, so her toes are nice and clean, they're shaped up really nice, no dead skin to speak of, right? And then we will have our final result here. So pretty. I love it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.